Hi, yeah, I would like to introduce uh, Catherine Elordwe with United Way. So uh, they mentioned a book desert. Tell us what a book desert is first. A book desert is an area where people and kids don't have access to books. So this is one way to provide access to folks that might not normally have that. And this is a little library. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? Yes. I love it. Now, I know you said this one is custom made, right? So right. the United Way is looking to put in, what, did I read eight? Eight. Little libraries around mm -hmm. the Sacramento Valley. Uh, tell us what they what they do. What are, what's their purpose? Yeah, so the purpose is um, to really provide access to books for families, you know, adults and kids alike. And so, as you said, our goal is to create eight of these mm -hmm. and put them around the area so people have them in time specifically for summer reading programs. So, as opposed to, so in neighborhoods where there's not access to a public library, you would put these in? Correct. These are actually going to be in school districts. In school districts. Yes, in okay. area school districts. How fun. All right. So the idea is you could just come up and you don't have to sign up, right, or have a library card? Correct. Anything like that? Correct. Kind of take a book, leave a book kind exactly. of idea? Exactly. Exactly. And so what so we're asking for community there. support is, one, they can either, we have a wish list on yourlocalunitedway.org of books that we'd like to supply them with. Okay. So people can either um, provide a book. Um, they can actually provide a financial contribution to help us build these because these are about $500 a piece. Um, or if they're more hands-on, they can actually help us construct them. So we have all this information on our website, and we'd love for the community to be involved. Outstanding. You know, I, I know there are a ton of studies that talk about how people benefit later in life from reading books, from being read to. Absolutely, yeah. So this is one way so that kids can see their parents or grandparents modeling that behavior. So that's why we say this is geared towards the entire family. How fun. Look how cute this thing is over here. So yes. somebody went to great lengths to make this look like a real library. Look at this. Yes. It's, I mean, it's even three-dimensional where these look like the spine of a book. Correct. Correct. That's so clever. All the credit goes to Tom Bennett at United Way. This is about 40 hours worth of love right here that he put into this. So. <laughs> what are some of the books that are on your wish list? Uh, probably one of the most popular and well-known right now is A Wrinkle in Time. A Wrinkle in Time, the new yes. movie, of course, that's yes. coming out. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I encourage people to go to the website. And if they have their own books, you know, that's that's an idea. The wish list is to give some ideas. But certainly if they have new books at home or like new books, we encourage people to donate those as well. I know. I love series books. I loved as a kid getting into, you know, one book that then had, uh, I, well, like the Nancy Drew Mysteries. I mean, oh, I yes. was all over those yeah. as a kid. I <laughs> love Mystery of the 99 Steps, Mystery of the Dancing Puppet. They were so fun to read. Hardy yeah. Boys for the boys. Hardy you know, boys. stuff like that. Yeah. That's a series of books. Yeah. So if you want more information, we've got the United Way's Little Libraries uh, page linked to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on Show Info there at the top of the page. And then today's date for information on uh, donating books, volunteering to help build. Uh, if you'd like to uh, ante up 500 bucks to have a library built, would their name go on it if they wanted it we too? Can, yes, yes, they can sponsor it so their name can be included. So family, friends, coworkers, I encourage everyone to get involved. Well, as somebody who loved reading as a child and great memories of my grandma reading me the Little House on the Prairie books, as a matter mm -hmm. of fact, mm -hmm. I would uh, encourage everybody to get involved with this in some way. Catherine, thanks for coming in. All right, and we'll make you. sure that our viewers have that information on our website. Great. So appreciate it. Thank All right, you. Guys, back to you. All right, thank you. 724 here on this Monday morning.